Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this very short episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, join a full server. You can write a plugin that will actually allow you to uh, bypass the server uh, if it's full. Uh, now, this is um, beneficial for uh, two reasons. First of all, uh, you could have it where if certain ranks have a permission to bypass, uh, you could have a bypass. Also, uh, if your server hoster locks the number of uh, users that can join and you can only have a certain number of slots uh, you could allow everyone to join so that even if you bypass number of slots people uh, could still join so um, let's just go ahead and get started as you can see right here we already uh, register our events and we're gonna go ahead and write our event right now it's going to be a public void on player login it's gonna be a player login event e now, uh, I believe that I might have covered this before, but a player login event is a little bit different than a player join event. A player login event happens when the player is attempting to log in, but before they join. And if you take a look at some of the methods in here, it's actually pretty interesting because um, uh, you actually, the plugin, has the ability to allow and disallow entry based on uh, certain reasons. Uh, whereas player join is after the player has already joined. So this player login event will be good for like if you want to check um, information about a player and possibly uh, deny them entry if something is wrong like you know if you write a custom banning plugin instead of waiting for them to join and then kicking them after they've joined because uh, then you get that join and leave message and it can get kind of annoying. Uh, in this case however we're going to allow them to bypass a full service. So First thing we're going to do is we're going to say if e dot get result. This returns one in the result enumerator, which contains show you result dot uh, and make sure that you use the player login event dot result. And those options are allowed, kick banned, kick full, kick other, or kick whitelist. So allowed is if they're just you know allowed in. Uh, kick banned is if they're kicked for being banned. Kick full is if they're kicked because the server is full. Mm -hmm. Um, kick whitelist is if they're kicked because of a whitelist, and kick other is for some other reason. So if the um, result, if the reason why they're going to be kicked is because the server is full, and e dot uh, get player dot has permission. Uh, sorry about that. So if they have the permission, um, let's just say uh, join full dot use not use it, use, they can use the plugin, then you can just write e.allow and it will allow them entry even if the uh, server is full. You'll also notice in here, and I'll just quickly show you the disallow, um, so if you were to use this for a different reason and you wanted to disallow them, then you would give them the result, so kick full, kick ban, kick other, kick whitelist, and then of course you could also supply the message, but that obviously doesn't apply here. Uh, that's all that uh, really goes into this. It's just a really quick um, video, and some of you might already know how to do this, uh, but obviously some more exciting things are going to come in the future. Um, just how to bypass the player uh, slot limit, which can be helpful uh, in some kind of you know games and lobby uh, plugins. Um, I can't really demonstrate this because I don't really have a server with multiple people, but if for whatever reason this doesn't work, feel free to let me know. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Um, as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. Uh, if you can't understand my attempt at a British accent, let me know and I will re-upload. I was just kind of bored and doing it for fun. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye and thank you. Pip-pip.